Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at dynamic arrays and Power Query. So Power Query got a little bit of an upgrade recently. So if you head to the data tab and the get and transform data section, uh, there is a new button called from sheet. And this used to be called from table slash range. And if you read the description that comes up when you hover over it, it says create a new query from the select table or named range or array in this workbook. So that's the new upgrade is that this is going to work with dynamic arrays and not just ranges and tables. So I've got a table here and what I'm gonna do is just reference it and create a dynamic range. So I'm just referencing the whole table and that's gonna create a dynamic array uh, that spills that entire table contents. And now if I select the first cell here and go back up to the data tab and use the from sheet query, then that's actually going to bring in my dynamic array. And you can see that it's automatically promoted the headers there. And we also, if we look at the source step, we can see that it's referencing a uh, named range in Excel. So it's actually created a named range for us. And then referenced it in Power Query. Let's just go and load this. So close and load to, and let's just load it back into Excel. So let's load it in this same workbook. And now the really interesting thing is that if we expand our dynamic array, then we can right click and refresh and that's going to bring in the new items in our dynamic array. Let's just take a quick peek in the formula tab in the name manager. Let's see what it's created. So here is the array that it's created from array underscore one. And we can see that's referencing F3, which is the first cell in our dynamic ar array. And then it uses the pound symbol after. And that's the notation that allows us to reference the entire range of a dynamic array. And because our Power Query is referencing this named range, then our Power Query is going to be able to get whatever comes into that dynamic array. So that's a pretty cool upgrade for Power Query. You're able to get your data based on a dynamic array in the grid now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video and we'll see you in the next one.